This video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not condone or glorify the usage of drugs. Yo, what is good? I'm Low Key Fish, and in this video, I'll be covering the low-key psychedelic called 4 Hamid. This is a functional analog of psilocin, which is what is inside psychedelic mushroom. I'll go over the dangers, history, effects, my own experiences, and much more. Let's get into it. Warhammer is a psychedelic in the tryptamine class that still does not have much research behind it yet. It was first synthesized in 1977 by the infamous chemist Alexander Shulgin, who documented it in his book. Warhammer is known for inducing less visually intense yet highly psychedelic experiences. Many users deem it a good introductory psychedelic. It's more likely to enhance the environment around you rather than induce deep spiritual trips. This also means that a proper set and setting still remain important for reducing risks. No deaths have been reported, even though there have been reports of users like myself taking up to 20 times the max recommended dosage. For hum is non-habit forming and the desire to use it can actually decrease with its use. It is most often self-regulating. Positive effects include elevated mood, increased sense of humor, more energy, and raised sociability. Negative effects include GI stress or upset stomach, panic attacks, thought loops, and insomnia. Regarding the visuals, it tends to have sort of a breathing or vibrant quality to them. It is also fairly clear-headed when compared to most mainstream psychedelics. The onset is roughly 60 minutes and it will last up to seven hours once kicked in. It does present cross tolerance with all psychedelics, meaning that after the consumption of 4-Hummet, most psychedelics will have a reduced effect. Personally, I've had a few trips on 4-Hummet and it really wasn't all that bad. During my freshman year of college, a guy in the dorms had ordered two ingredients online, which were both legal individually. Then he mixed them together and the result was 4-Hummet in liquid form. The first time I took it, there was like 10 other people tripping too. And I remember we all just in the lounge area acting like idiots and laughing. One of the hardest times I ever tripped was when I took over 30 30 doses of it. Basically, my friend kept it in a little eyedropper bottle and just one or two drops was enough for a single dose. And one night I had taken the dropper and squirted it in my mouth like seven times and each squirt had at least five hits in it, if not more. I remember going into different people's rooms, opening the doors and just chilling with random people while tripping absolute sack. The trip was clear headed enough where I could have conversations with people, but I would constantly get lost in my thoughts during the discussion. I also remember tripping for way longer than normal that night. The trip only only typically lasts for about seven to eight hours, but I was feeling it for a solid 16 or 17 hours. That was trippy. Either way, I'm here now and I've definitely had crazier trips off other psychedelics that I somehow survived as well. If you wanna learn about another psychedelic that isn't widely known, watch this video next where I explain everything there is to know about 25X N-Bomb. N-Bomb draws a lot of similarities with 4-Hamid, although it can actually be deadly at high doses. I'm Low Key Fish, peace out.